to another vlog here in Istanbul. And yes, it's another food vlog, but a little different this time. So we haven't showed you really any Turkish desserts. And so we think it's about time to show you what sweet eats there are in Istanbul, because Turks do have quite a sweet tooth. Yeah, Turks have a really sweet tooth. There's a lot of sweets here. A lot of candies as well, but we're not going to show you that. We're going to try and stick to desserts, although we are blending a couple of things. All right, so come on with us and let's have a look at what you can have to kind of top off the end of your day for something sweet. Yes, and uh, I love desserts, so let's go. There's people everywhere in uh, Istikol on a Saturday and uh, we're gonna go and have some milk cake and some ice cream and some donuts and some kanefa and we're gonna show you some really special desserts here. Here we are on Istikol. You can see it's busy, it's a Saturday, and we're about to go and have some Turkish ice cream. Now the traditional ice cream here is a little bit kind of chewier, and that's because it is made from an orchid root. Um, from It has something called salep in it. They also have a hot drink that's made from the same thing. But right now we're gonna go try the ice cream. I've always tried to avoid this because it's actually a whole show and it's <laughs> quite the performance. And it raised my anxiety levels quite a bit just watching them, but we're gonna go and try it today anyway. See how this goes. But it's a delicious Turkish um, dessert. outrageous but you know it is for the show so you pay for him to torment you for two or three minutes yes. and let's see the ice cream it's mm. nice and stretchy yeah look mm. at that stretchy Again? ice cream <laughs> thank you what's your thank name you. Bye -bye. Mm. see you next time what's your name Woo! <laughs> I have six delicious is it delicious it's delicious and that it's, costs 50 it's cost 50 which is outrageous so it's lemon <laughs> It's um, pistachio, strawberry, and chocolate. And that was uh, five New Zealand dollars, pretty much. Yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. I won't be getting another one, but it's good at least. <laughs> and a great Turkish dessert. Yes, it's a great Turkish dessert. And 
this an experience I think you can only get in Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is in full swing. Let's see if we can get a kenefa. Kenefa va? Va? So, so, bir tane kenefa. Çok so. Merhaba. How are you? Thank you. You and? Yeah, not too bad. Thanks. Yeah. So we have some crispy pastry put on top and some oil yes. and then we cook it about 10 minutes yeah, five minutes five minutes yeah. and then you add syrup After syrup yes. syrup and pistachio pistachio oh delicious powder very good and ice cream don derma have oh chok is it chok salabi All the ninja uncles so so Syrup caramelizes, makes it so delicious. Pistachio? Yeah, chop, chop pistachio. Oh, yeah. good, good. Chop this out. Mm. And we have our finished kanepa. So, let's dig in. Let's dig in. Look at this. Cheesy, syrupy, pistachio-y goodness. Let's give it a try. Mm. And we have some ice cream, which really helps to cut the sweetness because it is incredibly sweet. That is good. Okay, so when you come to Turkey, it's pretty important to try a Turkish coffee. Turkish coffee is an institution here. And they make it like this, often in sand, but this one's not in sand. This one's on the coals. So how is the coffee here? Oh, yeah. Is it good? Turkish coffee, very good. It's, best coffee. It's the best coffee? Best coffee. Where does the coffee come from? Like Brazil, Colombia? Where, where does Turkey it... Turkey coffee. But Turkey doesn't grow coffee. Coffee. Turkey grows coffee Gross. here? Very good. Really? Good. No. I don't think Turkey can grow coffee. No grow. It is Turkish coffee. Where does it come from? Yeah. What country does it come yeah. from? Okay. <laughs> Merhaba. Bye. My friend Anifi Bey. Uh, Ali Bey? Anifi Bey. Anifi Bey. Bey. Oh, he's a coffee, coffee. man? Man, coffee. Şu orta mıydı? Şu neydi? Ver ona şeker sade. Abi köyde kahve için. Bize gelin. Şey, köyde geçirin. Abi bir yer yap. Şurada. And how much is one şey, coffee? Şey, kahvesi nasıldı? Neck it up. Your Turkish coffee, they also supply you with a piece of locker, so Turkish delight, and a water. So quite nice for your 16 lira. Yeah, so uh, I'm not usually a black coffee drinker, uh, Turkish coffee is always black. A lot of uh, grinds in the bottom, so you don't drink it all the way down. It's quite thick and rich, I think. Let's give it a go. Oh, that's definitely got a kick. Um, yeah, I don't know what time I'll get to bed tonight. Probably not as early as I would have liked. This is my second coffee today. Um, quite nice, very hot. Mm. It's 
good for a cappuccino drinking mocha coffee drinker. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. A good introduction to black coffee. Here we've got Turkish donuts. Taze lokma, taze lokma, sıcak lokma. Lokma. Lokma, 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 taze lokma lan. Buyurun, 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 buyurun. Abi gel, abi gel, abi gel, sıcak sıcak. Taze taze, baba, taze taze. Koyduğunuz lokmalar hepsi iki sayı. Evet, hangisi? Taze lokma, taze lokma, sıcak lokma. Şurayı mı? Güzel, güzel, güzel. Üç, üç. Enough, enough. Only standart. Nereye doldurun? Yeah, doesn't matter. I don't want it all. Thank you. Yukarıya. Lokma. Taze lokmalar, sıcak lokmalar. Buyurun, buyurun, buyurun. Taze lokmalar. We have Turkish donuts here. Taze lokmalar. So I'm going to put some cinnamon on them. Very nice, crunchy on the outside, smooth on the inside, no, crunchy on the outside, soft and mushy on the inside, just lovely. Cinnamon really adds to them. That's good. So this is one of my favorite uh, dessert shops in all of uh, Turkey or Istanbul. It's called Hafiz Mustafa and they have great Turkish delight, baklava and really nice cakes. some traditional Turkish desserts. Let's see um, if we can find something that's not so regularly eaten by uh, tourists. Something a little unusual. And this could be the store here. We've got a nice range of baklava, but in this episode, we're not going near baklava. chicken. It's a pudding and it is made with thinly sliced chicken breasts. So I have no idea what to expect from this. Um, not sure about the texture either. It's quite chewy it looks like. Mm. 
To be honest, it doesn't have much taste. And you can see it's very stretchy. I'm not sure why they put chicken in it because you can't really taste it, but maybe it's for the texture. Maybe it's for the stretchiness. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, it tastes fine. But as I said, I like my desserts a little bit decadent and it's a bit bland for me. A bit of a waste of good chicken. So it's chicken breast, stringy bits of chicken breast. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, when it's, you can't taste it and it gives it a kind of rough texture. I wonder why they do put um, chicken in it. I'm not sure. So you don't like it simply because of the chicken? No, because of the texture. I find the um, the kind of stretchy, cold stringy texture, bits. stringy bits, um, they don't like feel good in my mouth. I mean, the taste I said is fine, but it's too boring for me. I can't really taste anything much. The dessert I have here is called um, Iva Tatlisa and it's made by boiling quince and cloves together in syrup until it thickens and it's a wintertime favourite and there's a large dollop of kaimak or cream on top so this could be up my alley. This uh, dessert, Iva Tatlisa, is also made sometimes with pumpkin. So. Mm. Oh. I'm not sure. I think this one might be made with peach or nectar. That's quite nice. Let me get some cream. A little bit syrupy, a little bit sweet, some fruit, some cream. Can't really go wrong with that combination. It's an old Turkish dessert. Probably not one that tourists would normally uh, purchase. But that's why we come out and give it a go. Hello guys, and that's a wrap on our vlog on desserts. So we hope that we've shown you that there's a lot more to sweets in Turkey than baklava and Turkish delight. And in fact, you can have some cheesy desserts and you can have some chicken desserts. A lot of different stuff that you might not get in other places. Yeah, cheese and chicken. Who ever heard of that in desserts? Anyway, um, we've been doing a few food vlogs of late and we're about to mix it up. This will be the last food one for a little while. And we've got something big coming. We have some new destinations and some really exciting things coming up. So we hope that you'll stay tuned, you'll subscribe, like, and that we will see you in the next one. Yeah, until then, bye we're, for now. We're Girls on the Loose. Yeah, bye-bye.